we had nine assists today. We had some nice passes. I was just wondering how you were, how we're um, helping to like uh, improve your uh, playmaking abilities. You said how was I able to able, able to um, yeah. improve? Uh, I, I mean, I feel like we play like as a team, like throughout practice, each and every game. We try to play like more together, so like it's easy to find like my teammates when you open because that's how we always play. Bob, over the last few, what's been different for you? Is it just settling in, finally feeling like I don't know, maybe it's more normal than it's ever been in your time here? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I just think the camaraderie that we have as a team right now just feeds into my energy and realizing that we're a good team that can actually like win, that we can that, that we can actually like make a run for a, cha for a championship this year. I just feel more energized when I play with my teammates, trying to figure things out as a team, be more connected. It's just a lot better than last year. Jimmy, you're 11-11 um, from the free throw line. Team shot pretty well, you know. Um, how important is that in a big game like this? Mm, I feel like it's very important because, like, we know we're usually bigger than most of the teams that we play, so we know that we're gonna get to the line a lot, and some that's something that coach really, like, he really was honest about it in practice. So that like, we started taking it serious, more serious, because we know it could help us in the big stretch and big games like this. For, for either one of y'all, uh, it feels like the defensive intensity and execution has really ramped up over the last few games. How much does that do uh, the offensive end? I mean, how much does that fuel what you're able to do offensively when you're having that defensive success when you're forcing turnovers, things like that? Uh, I think the coaches really emphasize on creating uh, offense out, out of defense. We're starting to realize that we can really like affect the game in a positive way, just getting steals, block, energy plays. We had DG that had a ton of steals tonight. Ramir, me, uh, Tebow, when he comes out, he's always affecting the game with his length. Like, we have a lot of players that can really play the game on defense, and then we're getting a lot better at running in transition. So now we're able to find open shooters, uh, people going to to a basket to get open layups. So, yeah. Bobby, you also uh, they had some size inside. <clears throat> they had some good size inside. You were able to block some shots at the rim. Just Is that something you've, you've had to develop, or was that something you've been doing your whole career? I mean, I've never really been that much of a shot blocker, but it's like what Coach uh, Ham says it's always like, that just doesn't change from one day to another. Like, I've always had it. It's just I'm now starting to realize that I can really play the game in that way. So I'm just trying to get better at it every day. How much more confident are you feeling just taking three pointers and shooting them right now? You said what? Shooting three pointers and knocking them down. How confident do you feel in, your, in that aspect of the game right now? Uh, I'm confident. Like, if, I, if I get a, a good look, I'm going to shoot it every time. I'm just trying. I had a backboard three tonight. It wasn't a good shot. I made it, but normally I'm just going to try to get a spot of three open, knock it down with confidence. Wake Forest was able to come back from double digit deficits in both the first and second half, but then both times y'all were able to kind of stop it and regain momentum. What what was uh, what do you think was behind you know the ability to stop that bleeding, whereas maybe earlier in the season it got away from you? Uh, I feel like we play like a, a lot of different guys, a lot of different groups. So like, it's more of us. It's more of like, uh, like our part type of type of thing. Cause like, I feel like as we go along, like, it, like we getting we building more chemistry like with the groups that we play with. So like, like we're getting more connected. Sometimes we have like three guards out there or like two wings. Like we can just play like with each other. So like I feel like when they go on runs, it's like more to like get get our starters like a break so they can get back in and like play play fresh because we play like 11 12 guys what is that adjustment to play like 11 11 different players what is that adjustment like to go from like in a system that probably plays like eight to nine guys to playing 11 12 guys like you mentioned what is that adjustment like um i feel like it's it's different but it's it's like for the better like we we, we go back in there like fresh every time so like i can't be mad because i'm coming back in fresh and, I'm coming back in fresh, and we got so many guys that can play. So like, it's like more of an unselfish thing. Like, you just gotta every time you go out there, you just gotta give it all, give it your all for the team, and then like hope that your uh, teammates gonna go out there and do the same. Bef earlier in the year, before you guys got some of these guys available, um, did you feel pressure on yourself sometimes to kind of carry things a little bit offensively, and, and do you have less of that now? Uh, I wouldn't say it was pressure. I would say like. We knew what we was gonna have down the stretch, so like we just took it how how it was like at the time, like taking it game by game, playing together, trying to build like chemistry with the new group that I'm with. 
you've had uh, I think you've played seven straight games at home. You haven't been away from home since early December. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, been able to build some momentum. Now you're traveling for for a conference game on the road. What what has to happen in order to transfer it over to you know doing it in someone else's gym? I mean, I think the way that we're connecting right now and growing as a team, the energy has to come from us. Like when we're on the bench, like cheering for our team, just running the huddles, encouraging each other. When we're in the game, dapping each other up, uh, just showing love to each other, just keep pushing, keep doing what we've been doing, and going all out on the court. Bobby, you touched on it earlier. You know what you guys went through last year. Um, can you can you enjoy this right now, or do you have to just focus on getting better? I mean, obviously, you can enjoy a win. Like, you can see us celebrate after the game. Like, a win for us is huge, especially coming from a season like last year. But for the coaches to say, like, enjoy this right now, but tomorrow's a new day, you got to get ready for the next one. I mean, is there a certain player in the NBA that you try to model your game after, or you just try to be, become the first Jimmy Warfins? Uh, yeah, I, it's, a, it's a lot of players that I like watching, but, like, I try to really stay in my own lane. I, like... I like to watch a lot of players and like take like little pieces of their game added to mine, but I'll, I still like to stay in my own lane.